Hi everyone. Today what we're going to do is communicate using advanced HMI to the Click PLC. And the advanced HMI is a HMI SCADA system. Um, and it's a development package that takes advantage of Visual Studio. And HMI stands for Human Machine Interface and SCADA, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. So what we're going to do is look at our program here that you see on my screen. This is the Click uh, programming software. And I've got the send and receive commands coming and going. Um, this is what we learned last time in this series on the Click PLC. That was the send and receive command. And what I've done is actually modified it a little bit. So I have my success uh, bit when it turns on. It actually then goes and reads another value a slave address uh, 4139 and that is the status of the bits within the uh, PLC or within the uh, PLC that represents the solo temperature controller uh, bits to tell me the status lights okay so now so if we look at the actual manual I'll show you where I get those values from Here's my uh, solo manual. And if I look in chapter 7 under Modbus, there's my process value. This is my Modbus uh, decimal address. Um, then if we look down, we're looking at the uh, status conditions. And this is what this is right here. So this tells me my Fahrenheit, my Celsius, alarm 1, 2, etc. So the other thing we need to do is we have to actually uh, utilize advanced HMI. So if you go to the Visual Studio community and you can download, uh, if you haven't already got uh, Visual Studio on your computer, you can download it at this location and you'll find all these links on our website um, after and I'll show you a link below. So once you've got that downloaded and installed then what you do is go to the advanced HMI download which is on uh, SourceForge and here we can download the latest version of advanced HMI. So when we, once we have all those downloaded and installed, then what we do is we can call up our advanced HMI. And it's right here. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to communicate to the Click PLC using Modbus TCP um, from the HMI. Then uh, from the Click PLC to the Solo, we're using the read and write on the Modbus RTU to get the data into the PLC. So it sounds like a complicated task, but really isn't. So here we, we've actually added our Modbus TCP communication port. We've set up the IP address here. Our polling rate right now is at uh, 500 milliseconds. We can actually turn it down to say 250 milliseconds, so a little quicker response. Our TCP IP port is always 502 for Modbus TCP, and our unit number is 1. Then what we have here is we have our present value, which is actually just a panel meter. And the panel meter itself, um, here we have the Modbus TCP and the address, which is that same, or the address 4000001. Now to get any of the addresses in here, we go back to our Click software and under Address Picker, we just call that up and we'll notice that the DS, and under DS what we do is we just say display our mod budget address. And under here, you'll see that that value that I have there that's reading actually is the DS1 register which is actually our present value. Then our set value will be actually being set into DS10, which is 400010. Okay. So once we have that set up, see it's very straightforward. What we're going to do is actually run this program. And when you run it, what you'll, what you'll find is that we have this screen. Now I'll minimize this one in the background so we can actually see what's going on. 
So here's my present value, my set value, and my digital outputs here that displays the status of our temperature controller. And if I hold the thermocouple, you will see that the present value is increasing as well as it increases here on my screen and my set value is 30. You see my output's on and it's in degree C. Now if we were to um, change the set value and we'll change this to we'll say 20. So we change it to 20 and then eventually the output's going to turn off like it just did and it'll come back down. You'll see this trending graph and all I'm doing is just pointing to a memory location. So having um, communication from the advanced HMI into the Click PLC is very straightforward, especially with that uh, address picker. You just call up what address you're looking for and it's there. Now for all of the information and download these programs, you can visit our website at www.accautomation.ca and if this video has been helpful and this series has been helpful please give us a thumbs up so it will help other people find this information so they can too to learn. Now also to keep up with all of the videos please subscribe to this channel. Also you'll find on our website um, if you subscribe to it we will actually um, send you a couple of links for some ebooks, understanding PLC numbering systems and also the robust data logging for free. So also the advantage of signing up on our website is that when new videos and series come out or um, new postings, you'll be the first to know. Alright, thanks for watching.